Hi, Roman here from Custom Scene. In this quick tutorial, I will show you the essentials to create your scene from scratch. And I'll use for this tutorial the bundle edition that includes several of the editions from Custom Scene. So first, open the scene app. Here we are. Then also, we're going to open these to in some of the edition I'm going to use create that scene so I'm going to use artist the designer volume one feminine volume one two so open them up in Photoshop the workflow I like to use is to have a my workspace split in two to have a scene on the side and the rest of the object on the other. To do that in Photoshop is to go into uh, Windows and you go to Arrange and we're going to arrange them to up vertical that way. So you can see you go the feminine that way so what we'll do is to find our scene which is here and we will move it to our right and now this feminine one We'll move it to the left to the left okay so we go now we got our additions here our object to the left and our scene to the right so now let's add some objects into the scene so i'm gonna start with the artist edition so what we'll do is first is to hide the hide me layer and here are all my objects from the scene and i will just select those items I would like to use and drag it into my scene. So the best workflow is to have our move tool here and make sure we go to select and show transform controls ticked. So if we select an object it will be easier just to identify which object we've got selected and we can just just clicking from the, from our canvas and use them. So what I'll do is um, select these objects. Also you can select multiple objects by clicking on other objects and by maintaining uh, the shift key in our keyboard and clicking on the, on the cactus for example. I'm going to use also this brush. I'm going to use this paper. That'll be it. So to move it to the scene is you click and drag it just like that into the scene and here they are here are all the objects so what i'll do is i'll move my object into the scene Okay, so this is my scene at the moment. So what we'll do is to rearrange all the objects into the scene. Okay, so I'm happy with that. What we'll do now is add uh, the content. I'm going to add the content to the paper because um, see as the paper has got plus means inside the, the folder there's a small object which allows me just to go into it, the small object, object and add my own content so I'll just put the text create your own Okay, so you close and you save the changes. 
Now let's change color of some of the objects. So to know which objects are able to change color, look at object that has got a C that stands for color. For example, I'll change the small jar. If I open it, there's a layer called edit color and I will just change it to the color of the ink, black, it's perfect. And um, there's also the brush, You're able to change the color. The edit color, we changes the color of the brush. I'm gonna change it to black, like that's perfect. And also here, the color of the handle, change it to brown, brown color, not brown color, yeah, that will do. Okay. So that is about the color and the, the content also. Okay, so as you can see, I've, um, when I've been adding some of the objects, so some of the objects like these ones, I've been on top of the filter lighting, so we don't want that. What we'll have is to move them under that level, so we get the lighting and filter on top of everything. So if you add the lighting, you'll see we will add some uh, vignettes and light into the scene to create more realism. You're also able to to change uh, the shadow of like right now the shadow are more on the, on the edges like on the left bottom and the right so because the light will be kind of on the top left area. So if I click double click on the shadow edit me layer I will just be able from the scene to click and drag the light wherever I would like the, the shadow to be. So if I move it like to the bottom, you'll notice. You'll notice that the light is changing slightly. But what I'll do for this example is to leave it away where it was. I'm gonna change it to the, yeah, to the, to the left top area. Okay. One of the other features you're able to change the direction of uh, of the light. So actually, to show you, I'm gonna change again the light here. I'm gonna move it to the right. Click. Okay. Or even better, I'm gonna move it to the center. Like something like that. But as you can see the objects are casting the shadow to the right side so to change that we're going to use the dynamic shadows by using global lights from photoshop so we go to layer layer style and global light so using the global light window we'll be able just to change the angle of the light so we could change it to the right for example you notice that all the shadows are changing direction. If I put it, the light, the angle to the bottom, the shadow will just change. And if so, if because the light we had it to the center, I'm gonna just move it to the top, something, something like that, and that will do. That is actually perfect. So I click OK. And this is about the, the actual scene. Well, I'll do as well as uh, to, to, to change. I'm gonna I'm gonna add some texture. I'm gonna I would like to add like a pep paper effect. Right now is a is a wooden table. But what if I double click on a small object? You'll notice that there is more textures to choose. So I'm gonna hide this. I'm gonna use a paper, the parcel paper called. And you can also change the color. So if I click here on the color, I just put it at two hours. Something like that. Yeah, that'll be it. Close it, it's gonna save. And that will be perfect. And now, what I'll do just to finish it, finish this tutorial, is to to display the filters. Those are some of the the great features is to, to be able to add the photo filter, create more realism to your scene. So I'll uh, I'll probably gonna play around. You could do different. 
to actually find the, the effect you would like to. So just uh, there's not really a specific rule uh, when it comes to to photo filter as you probably have done in Instagram. It's just to play with filter until you get the uh, the effects you you were looking for. And sometimes I'm just playing around you just find out it's uh, it's quite a creative process. So like for example, I I kind I kind of like uh, these. I could actually turn down a little bit to 50% and probably this one as well that would be good for me another important thing when you create a scene is to crop your image so what I'll do is right now is to crop it to to the side I would like to I'll put that with this. so which is good because if you would like have an Instagram picture you're looking for more like a square picture which is cool to do but then we're missing some of the object here or, or we could just change it to some, something like that get it more centered here and then that is just press enter and that will do Okay, so this is it for, for custom scene and creating for your scene from scratch. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, happy scene creation.